long ago, the region we now know as San Diego, Imperial County, and Northern Baja was occupied by thousands of Kumeyaay Indians. Kumeyaay villages were sprinkled along the coast and along the riverbanks. Today, you can visit Mission Trails Regional Park, the Barona Valley, and other open spaces in this region, and find evidence of the Kumeyaay's existence. These Indians lived as one with nature, finding everything they needed to survive in their environment. The land was respected for its bounty and resource. The land provided a wide variety of plant foods, including seeds, nuts, and fruits. However, acorns from the oak tree were the main source of food for the Kumeyaay Indians. Acorns, with their high caloric value, as well as fat content, sustained this hunter-gatherer people. Historians estimate that each Kumeyaay family consumed as much as 2,000 pounds of acorns a year. That's as much as a small car. During the fall, Kumeyaay Indians would travel from the coast areas to their mountain home. They would gather enough acorns to last them a full year. The community participated in the acorn collection. Each person had a special role to play in the process. Boys were in charge of shaking the branches, while the men beat the branches with large sticks. As the acorns fell, the women gathered them from the ground and collected them in cone-shaped baskets. Acorns were then taken to a central location to dry in the sun. This helped preserve the nut and kill any insects. The acorns were then stored in large baskets called granary baskets. These granaries could store acorns for up to five years. Strong herbs were placed in the baskets to keep rodents and insects away. In order to use the acorns for various purposes, the Kumeyaay first needed to prepare them. Acorns were first shelled and peeled using a stone hammer. Next, the Kumeyaay laid the nuts in a rock hole or grinding rock and crushed them with a large stone pestle until the nuts turned into a flour-like consistency. The flour was rinsed several times with water to remove the bitter tasting tannins, a process called leaching. The flour was later used in tortillas, stews, and mush. For the Kumeyaay, preparing acorns was not just a way of life. This practice was critical to their high mobility and ease of transportation. The Kumeyaay's agricultural methods are a testament to their value for nature and for life.